Right, today what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start on drawing, all right? Uh, and before we start any exercise, I want you to draw a box, all right? Get some A4 paper, uh, pen, pencil, uh, don't need to use eraser because if you make a mistake, you can always redraw a new box. Uh, this box is a three-dimensional box. Uh, I want you to draw something like as if it's a treasure chest, you know, uh, equal, equal distance cube or something, a three-dimensional box, all right? So, pause the video, go on an A4 paper, draw the box, and then we can discuss that further later on. Right, have you done your box? If you have, I want to see your box drawn. Now, I want to ask you is this, did you draw your box something like this? Or have you drawn your box something like this? Or it could be like this. Right, depending on which direction the sides goes. This side or this side, okay? Right, now, whichever box you've drawn, all right, uh, it's okay uh, as long as you've drawn a three-dimensional box. But as a matter of interest, uh, I want to tell you that this box is drawn under the method called isometric and these boxes here are drawn under the method called oblique projection, right? So this is isometric projection, this is oblique projection. Okay, I'll explain the details later on. Now, there are two other ways to draw this box, right? Uh, one other way is like this, drawn in this manner. Okay, and another way is this way. Or this way. Right? Now, these box are drawn using the method called perspective drawing okay and this one using the method two point and these are using one point perspective Hi, now I want to bring you back to this isometric drawing because that's what we're going to teach you today. I will have two isometric box here. One and the other one I'm going to draw here quickly. Right? Now, if you notice that there's a little particular trick to drawing this. Uh, that is, I will highlight to you this. Okay, drawn in bold, the Y shape and at the bottom here the crow's feet okay there are two distinct method okay the, the crow's feet method or the y shape method right now if you have drawn this y shape or the crow's feet that will establish your starting point and from there if you want you can project and complete any other isometric drawing Okay, so as long as all the axes are parallel, you would form a box, a isometric box properly. Now, being able to draw using the Y shape or the crow's feet method, all right, you can then now go ahead and proceed to create what I call this a crate. All right, so this method is called creating. And once you have been able to do creating, you can almost draw any other shape. All right. So if I were to start with the Y, the cross feet, okay. And in this case here, I can quickly draw an object that I want, right? And I can build up, okay, similar objects using that uh, axis that I created to create my other objects. Okay, so in this case here, 
I created three blocks together. Okay, you notice that I'm going over and over again trying to make sure that all my axes are parallel to one another and I should be able to draw a nice three-dimensional shape. Okay, now I can even draw complicated ones using my Y. So it's the same way the Y shape will start at the top, moving down. Okay, moving down to my similar way, similar shapes that I have. Okay, so in the same way, this is what I'm going to draw using the creating method. Right, so I hope that will help you to draw three-dimensional shapes easier. Right, some of you need help to draw or you want to draw a circle. Alright, so what I'm going to draw is the, please take note that circle will touch will fall nicely into a square and they will touch at the four midpoints so if I will join the four midpoints alright I will get to find the center of the, of the circle and if I join the diagonals okay and in the same way if I extend the arc the circle will touch this diagonal here nearly the distance is two-third to one-third so same for here two-third to one-third same for here two-third to one-third same for here two-third one-third so then if I were to join all the dots what I get is a reasonably well drawn circle okay so that is how I draw a circle inside a square when I'm looking it from the plan view straight straight view all right now if I were to draw a isometric box now okay so I'm drawing a square right and I want to draw a circle over here how do I draw that first of all I know the sides okay I can establish the midpoints right that's my midpoint and I have the diagonals right okay so diagonals the circle will touch the diagonals at two third one third so I'm going to just quickly mark out the two third one third right and then I will now construct an arc that will fall nicely inside all these little points and I will have my circle but it looks like an ellipse alright so it's a flattened circle over this side okay and now if I want to extend this like as if it's a car wheel okay so you can just extend that and I would get a little okay cylinder going this way okay so if I extend that that would how it looks like okay so if I were to draw it on the flat surface like I want to draw a kick okay so same thing okay extend half half diagonal right two third one third two third one third two third one third two third one third center point and I will extend my arc my ellipse will be this way right extend down if I want I can mark out again at the bottom right and then extend the circle this way right and I would get a nice flat cylinder like a cake okay so that's how you draw a cylinder okay so i hope that helps you in drawing cylindrical objects now if you want to draw a big uh, cylinder same thing i first mark out my areas that i want Okay, I draw the same way my cylinder. This will extend all the way. And once it reaches the bottom, I'll just connect with arc. Okay, so this is a very quick sketch of a cylinder. Right, if you draw it in proportion, you should be able to reproduce this quickly. What about a cone? Right, cone is a bit tricky. You need to establish the base. Right, again, the cylinder has to be established at the bottom 
Then after from the center, I extend a certain distance up. And then I'm going to project to the sides. And I would be able to draw a cone. Now, obviously this looks like a flat two-dimensional cone. What you need now is to then add in the shading, which you will learn in the rendering uh, portion of the, this lessons. And you would be able to draw a cone. Okay, now you know how to draw uh, cylinders, cones, you know, round shapes, all right, using isometric drawing. Now, uh, basically, we're going to teach the, the method that's taught to you is creating. So, what you need to do is imagine your object, what it looks like, all right, using crates to structure the whole thing together and then form the, the shape that you want, all right. Using creating method, you will be able to almost draw anything in the right proportion, right? One box stacking on top of the other, right? So go ahead and draw your idea in isometric drawing, a sketch, right? And then show it to your teacher and get comments from them. Good luck!